God is in Matthew chapter 24. Again, reading the verse 42. I thank all those coming out tonight in the house of God. Let me thank all those coming into the broadcast, especially the brother in prison. We hear from them all the time. Appreciate you, brother. Keep going strong for the Lord. Matthew 21, 42, through verse 46. Jesus said unto them, Jesus said unto them, Did you never read in the scriptures the stone which the builders rejected? The same has become the head of the corner. The stone which the builders rejected, the same is become the head of the corner. <coughs> this is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. It is amazing that Christ came established and they rejected him as the coming Messiah, but he was actually the foundation of it all. Come on and read. Therefore say I unto you, uh -huh. the kingdom of God shall be taken from you. If you guys don't want it, the Jews at the time, if you guys don't want it, it'll be taken from you. I'm coming to you first, being the descendants of Abraham, but if you don't want it, come on and read it. And give it to a nation, bringing forth the fruits thereof. Come on and read. And whosoever shall fall on this stone shall be broken. Whosoever shall fall on this stone shall be broken. But on whomsoever it shall fall. But on whomsoever it shall fall. It will grind him to powder. It will grind him to powder. And when the chief priests and the Pharisees had heard this parable, they perceived that he spake of them. They perceived that he spake of them, rejecting him and him going to the Gentiles. He said, I'm not interested in your name. I'm not interested in your lineage. I'm interested in fruit. I'm interested in genuineness. I'll find somebody that wants to be genuine. That's what I'm after here. Come on and read. But when they saw to lay hands on him, and when they saw to lay hands on them, they feared the multitude. They feared the multitude because they took him for a prophet. Verse number forty-four. Jesus said, "And whomso shall fall on the stone shall be broken, but on whomsoever it shall fall, it will grind him to powder." We want to title the sermon Hitting the Rock. Man, man, yes. Hitting the Rock. One of the great challenges in the church world today is a lack of individuals actually hitting the rock. To many people, they perceive going to church as an effort that that's how I get right with God. Mm. I go to church. But they don't truly understand that the way Jesus set the thing up okay. is you must hit the rock. Okay. They'll say things like, it's so hard being saved. Not if you hit the rock. That's right. Right. Not if you hit the rock for real. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, they don't understand that salvation is not really the Bible said the way of the transgressor is hard. Right. But my yoke is easy. Yeah. And the way it's made easy is when you come and you're for real about it, you're genuine about it, okay. and you actually get the rock. Okay. You don't come in trying to be half saved mm -hmm. and half the world. Right. You don't come in thinking that I'm going to come and do my church thing on Sunday so I can feel better, but I really want to change on the inside. Okay. I don't want to be the way I am no more. My God. We're going to break down tonight <laughs> what it means to hit the rock. See, some people come to God because they're in trouble. Mm. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm in trouble. Yes. I'm, I'm in trouble. I'm going to, can you call the preacher? Can you come down to the gym? I'm, I'm in trouble. I, I'm dealing with this. So I, I, want, I want, some people come to God because they have a need. Mm. I, 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 I'm trying this, I'm trying this. This door is shut. This, I, I need God. I need, well, I want them to move on the judges. I need, I, I'm coming, I got a need. I got, I, I got a need that I'm, I'm doing. Some people come to God because of fear. Okay. They get a diagnosis or something happens and they have a fear. 
and they're scared. I don't want to. I didn't go to hell. I'm. I'm scared. I want to be. I want to be saved. I want to be. I want to be. I, some people come to God because of an emotional moment. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's an emotional moment. Yeah. It's just emotional moment. You, you, you really did. You saw a friend get saved or somebody came and said, it's an emotional moment. So you get real emotional. So you want to come and say, oh, I want to be, I want to, I want to be, I want to. Mm -hmm. All of those things okay. may play a factor. Mm -hmm. yes. But if you really want to get saved, you got to hit the rock. Yeah. And the Bible breaks down what it means to see people have complicated it's not complicated right, right. salvation makes sense yeah. we don't want to do wrong when you really say all right you want to live for god yes yeah. it works right. it's simple it's not complicated yeah. tonight with the help of god we're going to break down what it means to hit the rock and we're hoping that somebody tuning into the broadcast is sick and tired of being sick and tired all right they don't want to play church no more all right they don't want to just live life with no real purpose just wake up go to bed wake up go to but they're ready for a change down on the inside. Amen. They're ready for God to take his abode up within them and change the way they are. See, hitting the rock represents a genuine breakthrough. Yes. It represents something that takes place in your soul. You may not can explain it, but you know I'm different. It's not like I'm trying to be saved. I am saved. Amen. It's not like I want to be this. I am this. You don't have to sneak. It's not something I do when I'm in front of the saints. It's the way I am all the time. Amen. Amen. That's what happens. When a person genuinely humbles themselves and hits the rock. You see, one of the things that it, 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 it is going on today in the religious world is people will say things like, uh, uh, the doors of the church are, or come up, you want to join the church, come up and stand here. And then they'll say, okay, this person joined the church. This, that. That's completely unscriptural. Yes, sir. You don't join the church. You don't become a part of God's church until you hit the rock. Mm -hmm. Go to Acts chapter 2, verse 47. Mm -hmm. Acts chapter 2, verse 47. You cannot become a part of God's church until you hit the rock. Acts chapter 2, verse 47. Praising God. They, have the favor. they were praising God. They were excited about the things of God. Come on. And having favor with all the people. And they had favor with all the people. And the Lord added to the church daily, such as should be saved. And who added to the church? And the Lord added to the church. Do you know daily. why it says the Lord, you'll never hear in the church of God we say, come join the church or uh, we'll, do y'all want to vote if so-and-so can be a member of the church? You'll never hear that in God's true church. That's right. Why? Because the Bible said the Lord added to the church daily, such as should be saved. Amen. Why is it that the Lord, because the Lord knows when you hit the rock. My God. You may come up and say, oh, uh, uh, yeah. what is it? I don't know. I can't perceive for a Just say, but God knows. God knows when you hit the rock, if you hit the rock, and how you hit the rock. Right. That's why the scripture said the Lord added to the church. My God. Somebody can come up here, my God, and you see sometimes, uh, uh, they may shed a tear. But God's looking is your heart broken? Yes. Right. Go over. Let's look at the conditions of hitting the rock. Go over to 2 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 7. Verse 10. 2 Corinthians ch chapter 7, verse 10. What does it mean to hit the rock? Not to the Mary. Oh. That's the Lord. Yes, a person can be down and out, and they can come and get saved because they're down and out. Or yes, a person may have a diagnosis of, I got terminal cancer, they gave me 40 hours to live, coffee. All those things may play a factor, but those things does not necessitate, necessitate hitting the rock. Amen. Those things can play a factor to get yeah. you. It can be emotional. Yeah. You can be in a service, man, and, 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 and the inspiration is high. <laughs> Off the call is high. You yes. sit there. You need inspiration to get saved. Right. You know, it does, emotion does play a, a role in it. Mm -hmm. But it's beyond that. Mm -hmm. Come on and read. The earmarks are in the mark. Come on. For godly sorrow worketh repentance. For godly sorrow worketh repentance. To salvation. I'm not just sorry that I got AIDS. Mm. I'm not just sorry that I got caught and I'm doing 10 years in prison. Okay. Oh, I'm so sorry I messed my life up. Yeah. Oh, I can't. I'm going to be in prison for 10 years. Oh, I went to that club that night. 
Oh, I slept with that boy. Oh, and that boy, he liked boys on the side. And he had A's. I just backslid for a few days and went out to the club. It was my first time even messing with somebody. Oh. All those can play a role. Yes, sir. And you sorry you got A's. But unless you have godly sorry. Lord, I'm sorry I sinned against you. Yes. My God. God, I'm so sorry for the life that I live. Amen. I'm out there trying to do my own thing, God. I was sinning against you. God, I knew better than what I was doing. I'm sorry, God. But please forgive me, God. I'm out there doing things that I should. I had children watching me, and I'm doing this ungodly stuff. I, I ruined my neighborhood. I ruined people's lives because of my life of sin. Yes. God, I'm sorry, God. Just give me a chance to serve you. Just forgive me. God, I want to be saved. God, I'm so sorry, God. I'm sorry for what I've done against you. I'm sorry for sinning against you, God. I just want to be saved. Please save me, God. Godly sorrow. God sent his son, Jesus, to die on the cross. All those stripes, the pierce in the side, the crown of thorn. You played a role in that. When you committed sin, you helped Nelly to the cross. My God. You played a role and you're just sorry for the things you've done against God. You're just sorry deep down on the inside. I'm sorry. All this chewing bubble gum sitting there at the altar uh, laughing and just saying, that. no, 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 no. It takes godly sorrow. Mm -hmm. It's godly sorrow down on the inside. Mm -hmm. Here's an acknowledgement. Mm -hmm. You actually see the magnitude of what you've done. Yeah. What you've involved yourself in. My God. Yeah, you didn't help turn uh, what, men, daughters out. Mm. Destroyed your, your community. I just sold a little dose of You helped destroy your community with that mess. Yeah. Godly sorrow. Godly sorrow. Go over to Psalm 30, uh, 34, verse 18. So one is godly sorrow. I'm not just sorry I got in trouble. But I'm sorry I sinned against God. And I want to be right with God. And I want a relationship with God. I'm sorry I've been serving the devil all these years. Helping the devil's kingdom out. I'm sorry I should have been saved a long time ago. I want to read. The Lord is nigh unto them that have a broken heart. The Lord is nigh unto them that have a broken heart. And save them such as be of a contrite spirit. My Lord, broken and contrite. I, I possess godly sorrow and it's moved me to brokenness. <laughs> That's why a lot of times when you see somebody going up to the altar of prayer, all that cool stuff, just no. It's, it, it's a godly sorrow that moves to a brokenness. I'm just broken before God. I'm just broken. Yes, when we come to an altar of prayer, we kneel in reverence and we kneel before God, but we also kneel as a representation of brokenness. I'm just, the Bible speaks about being in the sackcloth and ashes yes. just now. When you're trying to get a hold of God, when you're trying to move God, you're just broken. You're just broken up about it. You're just sorry about it. You, you, the godly sorrow has moved to a brokenness deep down within you and a contrition. You have a deep regret. Yes. A deep regret for the Man. things you've done. Mm -hmm. You see your sins. They're ever before you. You see what you've done and how you've wasted many years. Yeah, yeah, you should have yeah. been saved long ago. Yeah. You see, my God, and you just got a contrition. You just have a sorrow and a contrition. You're contrite. And God sees that's the heart that I can deal with. Amen. That's the heart My that I can deal with. All right. That's the heart that I can get in there and more. It's kind of like a, a, a potter or it's kind of like someone that's working with some uh, a, a material or whatever. It, they got to like beat it up and get it to where it's pliable. Yeah, that's and that's kind of what happens on, at an altar. Yeah. You, you, you have your brokenness. See, your heart is hard when you're sitting there knowing you're not saved, knowing you committed sin, knowing you sinned against God, knowing you're on your way to a devil's hell, knowing you rejected God many times, and you know you've got things that you need to repent over, and when the Holy Spirit deals with you, you sit there and you, and you harden your heart. I, I'm good, man. I, I'm good. I, I'm good. I want to be saved. I'm good. Sometimes you say, later, man, but not right now. I'm good. Well, you feel bad about it. That's why the Bible says it's hard for you to kick against the pricks. Why? Wow, you got the pricks of some conviction. God is dealing with you. You say your, your hands is kind of.
and feeling sweaty and you, you're sitting there and they're singing songs that, that are convicting and, and, you, and, you, and you're trying to distract your mind, you're trying, but you feel bad because you're like a prodigal son. You're far from home. You're like Jonah. You've been running from God okay. and you're feeling that godly sorrow. But now when you allow that godly sorrow to, to cause a brokenness and a contrition, now your heart is being made pliable. That the, you're allowing the spirit to make your heart pliable and you're broken. You're not trying to hide stuff and say, I'm okay. Right. You're not okay. Yeah. You want to be okay. You're acknowledging what you've done. You're not running from it. You're not trying to push it down the road and say, I'll deal with it later. But you're ready to deal with it now. Tomorrow is not promised. You could die tomorrow. You don't know if you'll ever feel conviction again. You're taking advantage of the moment there is. You're broken in your contract and you have regret about even waiting this long. And now God looks. Right. And he sees like a baker. He sees like an individual that builds stuff. He said, that's a heart that I can now mold and work with. I can't get there if you're just walking, trying to join the church. I can't get there if you just are dealing with something and you and you want to get, I just want help. Some people come to the church because they're dealing with a difficult situation. I'm coming to the church, man, because my court case coming up. God is saying, how much I want to change, I can't change things for, because I can't work with that heart. I, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't bring this heart and mold it to the way that I want it. It's no brokenness there. It, it, it's no contrition there. But the brokenness and the contrition positions the heart to be molded into a new creature. My God. Amen. We're going to look at a few of the earmarks okay. of hitting the rock. Now, mind you, before we touch base with a few of the earmarks, he said, if you fall on the rock, you're going to be broken. Hit the rock. It's broken, he said. He said, but the, if the rock falls on you, See, some people, they keep rejecting God, and they keep rejecting and keep running. Eventually, that rock catches up with them, and that rock falls on them. Boom! But the force of that rock is so strong that when it hits, it's a grinding. And know what gets me? Sometimes you'll sit there, and you'll say, why didn't you hit the rock before the rock had to hit you? <laughs> what took you? that long. My God. Why did you keep on You weren't happy. Yeah. You were faking like you was happy. Right. Matter of fact, you knew too much to be happy. <laughs> you, you try to go here at the club. Oh, yeah, good day. While you're sitting here at the club and you're sitting there, you can sense the nothingness of the club. Yeah. Right. You, 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 you actually see, ain't nothing there. Right. The music's the same people, yeah. Yeah. same hair, uh -huh. same nails, <laughs> right. same songs, yeah. same drama, right. and you done got a new outfit on coming back to the same foolishness. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, have mercy. But you still won't try. Right. And God is saying, I took the club taste out of your mouth so you wouldn't be happy there no more. Amen. But you still won't come. Should have been in prison. But I allowed a loophole to allow you to get. I did say that that was my mercy. You still won't come. But then that girl that you're about to sleep with that had all those STDs. I allowed her to go another way that night when she went to the bathroom. She didn't come back over here when you was about to go talk to her because I was trying to spare you, but you still wouldn't come. Then you came to a service and I dealt with you. And you were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You said, you better come, come on and follow the rock before I have to follow you. Here. We're hoping and praying tonight someone tuning into the broadcast. My God. We say, I'm ready to hit the rock. Amen. I want to be right with God. Yes. I'm ready to go as far as I have to go. I just want to be right with God. I want to be a woman of God for real. Man, man. I just want to be a woman of God down on the inside. I'm not talking about joining nobody's church. I just want to be right. I want my whole life to be right with God. I want to be right. I don't want to quit running from God. I want to. Quit being scared to die. My God. Every time I feel something in my body, I'm like, oh, that can't, I'm about to die. I'm about to die. Every time it rains, every time it's thunderstorms outside, I'm panicking. Is that, is that, is that, every time I'm in an airplane, I've just got all this fear. I'm tired of all that. Amen. 
Yes. I'm ready for the peace to come on the inside. Amen. Well, let's look at the earmarks of hitting the rock. Number one, when you hit the rock, you don't hold back anything okay. that you know is wrong. All right. Second Corinthians 5, verse 17. When you hit the rock, you don't hold back anything that you know is wrong. Therefore, therefore, if any man be in Christ, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. He is a new creature. If any man come to Christ to be saved, he's a new creation. The word creature there is coming from creation. He's a new person, born again. Come on, read. Old things are passed away. When you hit the rock, old simple things passed away. If someone comes to you and says, oh, so-and-so passed away, they cease to exist. Old, when you hit the rock, old things of the sinful lifestyle okay. Amen. passed away. Amen. Amen. You can tell somebody hit the rock. Whoa. Hey, yo, yeah, we're going to the club, man. Hey, yeah, club. Yeah. I gotta say. Man. All right. It's all behind. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. We have to be quick and who were dead yeah. and trespassed and times passed walked according to the course of this world. Yes. And time, I used to walk according to the course of this world. Mm -hmm. And passed yeah. behind. You can dig the rock. Whoa! You sometimes when you see a new comrade get saved and they old crew, they homies come, hey homie dog, dude, what's going on? Be ice slice. Let's go in, man. We're going to do our thing, man. You sit back and you see it. Are they gonna go with D.I. Slice? <laughs> I, 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 are they going to fire? We got the fire, bro! Fire! Mary J, we got the fire! We going. If they hit the rock, I'm not, I'm not going to church, but yet trying to do some of the stuff. See, people are they're cherry pick things. They want to stop doing some stuff, but some stuff they want, they want old things. Are passing. Oh my boo, my boo, my boo, my boo is calling me. My boo, hey, come, hey, hey, yeah, 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 I'm gonna be by there. Hold on. She is around. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. The Bible says flee fornication and all of God. Yeah. Oh my God. I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not even involved. Whoa. All right. Whoa. See what happened when people talk about it's hard being saved? It's because they're trying to hold on to oh, stuff that yeah. should have passed away. Right, 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 they're trying to keep right. stuff alive that should have passed away. Right, right, if they right, just allow right. it, let it pass away. Let, yes. let it go. Yes. I'm done with it. Amen. Whoa, you hit the rock. Whoa. It's good, brother. I'm going in there. Oh, yeah. Full of life, full of life. Let me hit my thigh. <laughs> yeah. Let me hit my music. Yeah. Full of life. Yeah, I just want to see. personal belongings that I knew was ungodly. And I had to go home and deal with it. Psalm 106, verse 11. And the waters covered their enemies. There was not one of them left. So here the children of Israel came from Egypt. They came through the Red Sea. It said, and the waters covered the enemies. Not one of them was left. When a person really hit the rock, there's a deliverance that takes place. All right. There's a deliverance that takes place. Okay. And it's not, see, you know how you can tell the difference between truth and falseness? Falseness, a person will have some of those enemies will make it out of Egypt. But when they really hit the rock, it's amazing and it's a miracle. It's like, whoa. Every, all that stuff I used to do. And people, they think you lost your mind when you really found your right mind. Right, right, right. <laughs> they say, what happened to her? Right. You hold on, I don't understand this. You, you, okay, hold on. You ain't messing with boys no more. Because you, 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 no, not until I'm married. You don't get high no more? No. You ain't going to the ungodly club with us with our little sex meal clothes? You know we had all our stuff hanging out and all of our stuff? You ain't, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't doing that. What happened to you? Amen. What, 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 what? I hit the rock. That's what happened to me. Yeah. I hit the rock. Yeah. I hit the rock. That's what happened to me. When a person hits the rock, all the things that are 
ungodly, they allow them to pass away. Pass away. Okay. Go, let me go. And this is, let me encourage you before I even keep going. The reason why this old stuff got to pass away, because it said, behold, all things, all things. become new. He got some replacement that's not going to dwell with that old stuff. Amen. Hey. Hey. He got something better for you. Don't wait and let it pass away. Amen. Come on, God, because God got something better for you. Amen. God got something better for you that you don't got to reap. You don't got to worry about this and the side effect and this that, and the other. God will replace it far greater than what you gave up. Amen. Amen. Number one sign or earmark of a person to hit the rock is old things, ungodly things. They don't hold on to them. Okay. Number two, the word of sin that you gave up no longer means anything to you. Philippians 3 8. Oh, we talking about hitting a rock. Okay. When you, for real, mm -hmm. for real hit the rock, the things you gave up no longer mean anything to you. Philippians 3 8. Come on and read, brother. Yea, doubtless. Yea, doubtless. I count all things but lost for the excellency. I, I count all things but lost. I had to give up some stuff to get saved. I had four boyfriends. I had one of different age, different ethnicities, and different socioeconomical status. I had all. I had four boys. I, oh, I, I, I counted all but lost. Come on, read. For the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus, my Lord. For the Lord. excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus, my Lord. My relationship with God. Read. For whom I have suffered the loss of all things. So I did let all things go. Okay. But when a person really hit the rock, look at their attitude towards what they gave up. Come on, read. And to count them but dumb. Dumb is waste. Animal waste. Mm. Dumb is no value. Animal waste. He said, I count it but dumb. You see somebody hit the rock? And they boys be like, yeah, man. Hey, old girl, man. old girl, she was asking for you at the club, bro. You want to... Bruh, I'm, I'm, I'm done with it. Whoa. Right. See, that's the impact that makes somebody want what you got. But if you're sitting there struggling, oh, they she did? What she have on? Mm -hmm. what? See, they, yeah. they got to want what you want. Yes. That's how you let your life shine. The Bible says, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men unto me. Yeah. You don't lift up Christ by weeping over what you gave up. Amen. Amen. God. When you get to watch for real, I'm done with that, bro. Yeah. No, are you serious? Well, he's so far on. <laughs> You serious? You know he says, I'm done with that. Right. I'm done. It's the fire. I'm done with that. Right. I'm done with for real. All in my heart. I can't. I'm done with that, man. Bro, we ride and die. We, bro, I'm done with that, man. And I'm, and I'm not at home weeping and crying. Man, I can't go to the club. To the, I can't go. They can't go out with. I can't. Brother, get back up, hit the rock. Hit the rock. Because you're not going to make it. If you're sitting there weeping and crying about what you just gave up, you're not going to make it, my God. Hit the rock, my God. Matter of fact, let me show you something real quick. Go to Romans 7 13. Okay. Romans 7 13. You really hit the rock, your perspective of what you gave up even changes. Good, brother. Not just your attitude about it, but your perspective, the way you view it, changed. Read. Was well, then that which is good made nothing to me? Come on, read. God forbid. Come on. But seeing that it might appear sin, my Lord, working death in me. Come on. By that which is good. Yes. That sin by the commandment might become exceeding simple. My Lord, when you really get the rock, listen. You will see an outfit you had on, mm. in which your cheeks was out, this was out, you had this, uh, fake this and fake that and fake this and fake, you had all this stuff trying to entice men and, and trying to do, you will look and see a picture of that, and you will be, Whoa. not not will you not miss it, not will you not only count it as dumb, right. not will you not, it's passed away, yeah. but you will be like, Whoa. I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed. When your brother, your friends call you and tell you, you know we videotaped that one night. Hey man, I got that video. You will think oh, about God. what you did. That's right, brother. Hey, Amen. What was I thinking? Right. How could I fall myself in that bed? Man, delete that. Yeah. Man, I don't want that scene no more, man. Yeah. I don't want that. You sit there, you begin to see a new convert or somebody dealing with their past life with like that. They don't be like, man, yeah, 
I was a pimp. I was that guy. That... You had multiple girlfriends, and they all thought they were the only one. And you bragging about that? Come here. <laughs> You hit the rock, see him will appear. I can't believe it. I would never want somebody to do that to my daughters. I'm ashamed of that. I'm not, I'm not going to get up and promote. I'm, not, I'm, not, oh, I'm ashamed of that. I can't believe I was involved in that. You know, games and all this stuff, this, that, and the other. Going, we did a ride by, and then we went and beat this guy down. They said, he walked by, and every day you see that guy, he's walking like this. That's somebody's son. Oh, That's somebody's God. father. Yes. And you sitting there wondering, I was in the game, yeah, we were. You were? And you see these crap babies. Little babies came walking there for you. They said, because you turned their mom out. That's what you proud of? You had to rock you and see the sinfulness of the stuff that you used to involve yourself in. You won't brag about it no more. Amen. You won't go around talking about, I used to take men. I ain't no matter of fact, I ain't never a married man. I love, I, you was a home wrecker. That's what yes. you were saying. You won't mess up somebody's family. Mm -hmm. You won't pride yourself in the fact that you couldn't go get your own. <laughs> you won't mess up somebody's family. Mm -hmm. And you see the, you see yourself in what you was. I'm not going to call it by name. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see it. Yes. You saw a shape when you hit the rock. Yes. Your perspective Amen. of your life of old mm -hmm. actually changes. Oh, yeah. Good, brother. That's the second one. The third one is your willingness when you hit the rock. There's a willingness to make your wrongs right. That's right. Okay. Luke 19. Luke 19. Read verse number uh, eight. Luke 19. There's a willingness when a person really hits the rock. They'll give up everything they know to be wrong. And they'll have a certain mindset and attitude toward what they gave up. They count it as dumb. In fact, they see it for what it is. And they'll also have a willingness to make their wrongs right. Luke 19, they read. And Zacchaeus stood and said unto the Lord. And Zacchaeus stood and said unto the Lord. Behold, Lord. Yes. The half of my goods I give to the poor. Come on. And if I have taken anything from any man by false accusation, I restore to him fourfold. Hey, yeah, neighbor, I want to apologize to you. You know that ride long where you at? And the, you know that ride long where you at? And, and you asked me if I seen it? Yeah. <laughs> Come over to my garage. <laughs> I just waited until you left before I mowed my lawn. But I took your lawn because I was tired of walking. So I took your lawn. I want you to know, here it is. And because of the wear and tear, I'm going to give you an extra $100. Man. I'm sorry. Whoa. 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 Yeah. So and so. I want to apologize to you. Restitutions are more than just things. Sometimes it's an apology. I want, I, I want to apologize. I said some stuff about you that was completely wrong. I'm so sorry. I, 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 I did. I, I'm so sorry. Whoa. This person's something different. This person's willing to make their wrongs right. This person ain't trying to just to cover up stuff. This person is going. I grew some stuff I had to do. I had to go some places and take some stuff. I had to do some stuff. One thing I tell you, I went to my my parents and I told them, I said, Well, here's some money. And they said, What are you talking about, some money? I said, You know that, like that little uh, bottle, that little uh, container with all that coins and stuff you had up under your thing in the um, door? Yeah. Up under the, what you talking about? Yeah. You, you know, growing up from time to time, you would have some coins in the house, in the, in the dresser, and different. You know, sometimes when the bells would go, the ice cream truck bells, you know, I would kind of make my way upstairs, go over a teal little dresser, and I would go in there, and I would try to find me a little 50, 35 cent, whatever I can get up out of there, and I would go down to the ice cream truck. So I just want to give you, here you go, here's a, here's a, here's a couple hundred. I don't know how much I took, but, 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 but I want to make sure I'm making my own friend. No, they said, man, he, oh, he's serious? Oh, let me tell you this. When you start making your wrongs right, watch how strong your witness gets. Mm. You know, some people talk about, I feel safe. I'm, just keep walking and keep doing what's right. That's right. That witness coming stronger because that wasn't you. 
you're not doing this for them. Hey. Nobody even knows. No, no doubt. They may not have, they, they might have knew, because parents do know about everything. Right. Yeah. They might have knew, but they might have just kind of dismissed it or whatever. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. But you knew. Right. And the Holy Ghost dealt with you. Matter of fact, let's just touch this real quick. Go over to Mark 11, 26. Forgiveness. In the rock. Mark 11, 26. Go ahead and read that for us. His brother said, I'll give fourfold. If I've done anything wrong, I want to be saved. That brother hit the rock. He said, I'll give fourfold. If I've done anything, if I took anything that I shouldn't have, I'll give back fourfold. But not just that. Come on and read it. Mark but if you do not forgive, but if you do not forgive, neither will your father, which is in heaven, forgive oh, your trespasses. My God. You know why some people can't get a breakthrough and don't hit the rock? Because they hold them folk. Yeah. There's some folk that done them wrong and they're holding them. They come up and try to get a breakthrough. They come up and apologize. I've seen even the saints' children deal with this stuff and they couldn't get to the rock. Why? Because somebody had done their mother wrong or when they was young, some saint said something they shouldn't have said or told them, go back to your seat, you ain't going to the bathroom, or they got upset over there. Or they inherited church drama. Let me say that again. Or they inherited it. You know you can inherit a car? Yeah. You can inherit a watch? Mm -hmm. You can inherit church drama. <laughs> Your mother had an issue with sister so-and-so, so now you don't like sister so-and-so. Sister ain't never done nothing to you. <laughs> sister so because sister so-and-so, my mother had it. Your mother's dead. Well, I'm going to revive this. <laughs> you want to hit the rock? You want to get on your knees. I've seen this. I'm telling you what I know. I've seen this. You want to get? You want a real breakthrough? Just the song, so I want you to actually. I want to actually forgive you. Oh, I held you for years. Mm. I want nothing to do with you oh, because of what I perceive you, the way you treat my mom. But I'm asking you. Ooh. I had the same child come to me one time, desperate, tired of sin, lonely, wanted to be saved. Nope, I know if I get saved, I gotta forgive her, and I don't wanna do it. Mm -hmm. You willing to go to hell? You willing to go to hell because somebody did you wrong? No, 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 no. My mom, she never, she treated so and so different than me. She always liked this so and so. She ain't like me, and I just can't stand her to this day. I, Jesus said, You wanna hit the rock? Yes. You hit the rock. Like Amen. Amen. Well, I, I'm just saying though. Well, he was. Well, my dad never did this for me, and so and so didn't do that. And my uh, and my husband. Uh, and I appreciate all that. Yes. Uh, Lord, mm -hmm. I want to hit the rock tonight. Yes. I want to hit the rock tonight, and when you hit the rock, I'm willing to forgive whoever. I mean, it's over. That I'm, I'm done with that. Man. I'm leaving that between you and God. <laughs> I'm not dealing with that no more. Some people don't hit the rock because they're not willing to forgive some stuff all that's right. been built up for years. All right. good. That's all right. good. When a person hit the rock, they let go of all those things. All right. Okay. Right. So, so, singers can get ready. Number four, go to Genesis 32. Humility is present. Okay. Humility is present. Genesis 32, verse 10. Tonight, God wants somebody yeah. to come to an altar of prayer. And He's saying, just hit the rock. Just let go. Just let go. Amen. Just be sincere and say, Lord, I want to serve you. And I'm willing to let go. I've, you might have tried to be saved before, but tonight, let's hit the rock. Mm -hmm. yeah. You might have tried to serve God in a measure, but tonight you may even be in a current quasi-relationship with God. You try to be saved, but there's a victory you don't have. There, there, there's some things you just keep dealing with. There's a joy that you just don't feel. There, 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 there's a vibrancy in your relationship that you just can't get. There, there, there's a power that you just can't seem to maintain. Let's hit the rock tonight. All right. Let's say, Lord, if there's anything in me that I'm yet holding on to, this thing works. I believe it works. But, Lord, I'm asking you to help me tonight to hit the rock. My God. Amen. 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 Come on, read Genesis 32 10. I am not worthy of the least of all the words. Hit the rock, there's a humility there. Especially a backslider. When they come back, I'm not worthy of the least of the mercies. I'm not coming back trying to be nothing. I'm not worthy. The, the prodigal son, when he came back, he said, make me as a hired servant. Mm. I don't even want the position back that I had. I don't even want that. I'm not worthy of that. May I just be, one scripture said, I'd rather be a doorkeeper Amen. in the house of God 
I'm not trying to get up and take, I'm not trying to preach, I'm not trying to take, no, I'm not worthy. You see somebody hit the rock, there's a humility about them. They just come around. They don't come around. I'm back, y'all. Look at me, yeah. Say, oh, yeah. Oh, let me tell y'all, say, if y'all don't want to go back, let me tell y'all what y'all need to do. Wow. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I don't even deserve to take the audience's attention in the church of God. Oh my God. I just want to be here. I just want to be safe. You see that? You get a witness. You get a witness. Hold on. That's something different there. That's something different there. They not trying. They, 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 I'm not doing nothing for show. I'm not trying. To, I'm just. I just want to be saved. I just want to be saved. Even their testimonies, when they do testify, you will sense a certain humility. Saints, I thank God for being saved. I'm just, just remembering your prayer, saints. I want to be all that God would have for me. Yeah. You you just a sense, just a, I'm talking about hitting the rock. You a sense, it's no, it's no, it's just I just want to be, I just I just I, I, I'm not I'm not I, no I'm not trying to put me up. Let me do it. Don't overlook me. No, you I, you can't overlook me because I'm not looking for you to look to me. All right. They ain't say hi to me. I, I, I wasn't looking for you to say I, 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 I'm just I just want to be saved mm -hmm. there's a humility that's present mm -hmm. lastly there's a hunger mm -hmm. present Matthew 5 6 there's a hunger present see if you back. tonight we want to open the altar up God is dealing with somebody tonight about hitting the rock he wants to go work in your heart he wants to do a work in your life. But tonight he's saying, let's hit the rock. You may say, I tried it before. You may say, I'm in a relationship with God now, but I'm struggling with some things. Tonight, I promise you, mm -hmm. if you come to an altar of prayer, and you genuinely have that godly sorrow, mm -hmm. and you genuinely hit the rock, and you let go of everything you know to be wrong, you don't hold on to anything. I promise you tonight that God will deliver. God will change your heart, your mind. He'll regenerate you. God will give you power. God will give you grace. God will give you a peace that passes understanding. Yes. Tonight, if you just say, I'm letting go and I'm going to let God. I've tried it my way. I've tried to live life my way. i tried to work it out. I'm tired of trying to work it out. I just want to be God's man. I want to be God's woman. I don't want to make another excuse. I I don't want to kick the ball down the road and say maybe later. Tonight is the night. Today is the day of salvation. Yeah. Tonight just hit the rock. Just fall on the rock. Just say, Lord, I'm done, God. I just want to be saved. It don't matter, God. You don't have to worry to try to figure stuff out. Sometimes you'll say, if I get saved, what about this? Don't worry about that. Just hit the rock tonight. Don't try to figure out. What if I get saved, where I'm going to live at? Or what about this girl? What about this? I don't know. I can't figure all that out. All I know is that I'm sorry. God for the sins I've committed and I want to be saved. I'm willing to let it all go tonight. Lord, I'm falling on you tonight. Come on, read my friend. Matthew 5, verse 6. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness. Write these down real quick. Number one, they'll have a they'll have a they'll have a hunger to be right for righteousness. And that'll be in the minds of this. And you'll see the saints as you're working with newcomers. They'll ask you questions. Now, what about this? Should I go over here now? I got a, a, a girl, a baby mama that I was dealing with. We weren't really, or, or a boy, a, a baby daddy I was dealing with. Should I go? I was living with him. Should I go? Can I go live with them, but I don't uh, uh, have uh, 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 sex with them? Or should I not? Or should I go back? They're asking questions. They're saying, what about this right here? What, 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 what about, how, how do I deal with this? You know, I had this marijuana, and I was selling it for this guy. And he also gave me some cocaine. And I, had, and I, and I got about $500 worth of marijuana and $500 worth of cocaine. Should I sell it and then give him the money back? Or should I give him the stuff back? Or, and then he gonna sell, or should I just dump it and then just buy, get a job and pay him? I, I just want to be right. What should I do? You have sense a desire. You're not trying to cut corners. You're not trying to hide stuff. You're at, what about the Bible? How do I read it? They're hungry. How do I well, how do I deal with temptations in my mind? What if a pretty girl walks by and I see that she is pretty? Did I sin? How do I deal with that? Should I turn? Should I, they're asking questions about, well, what about this? Where do I go? There's a hunger and a thirst after righteousness. You 
sense. Whoa. They hit the rock. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's something different there. They're not trying to hide stuff. Mm -hmm. They're asking judgment. They're getting counsel. They're safety in a multitude of counsel. They're not trying to figure stuff out on their own. Mm -hmm. They said, how should I deal with this? That's good. Good. So there's a hunger for righteousness. Number two, we can't go here, but in 1 Peter 2, 2, write that down. There's a hunger for the word. The Bible said as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word. There's a hunger for the word of God. They may not understand the Bible, but they can't wait to get one. Mm -hmm. They said, I can't wait to get a Bible. Can you give me a Bible? And then they'll call you, what are you doing? Well, I'm just reading this morning. I was reading over in Psalm. It might not all make sense, right. but there's a hunger for yeah, it. Good. They want to read it. They want to get time. And what's a devotion? How do I have one? Mm -hmm. And you ask them, I'm listening to a sermon right now. You said, what? A new convert. I'm listening to a sermon right now. Brother so-and-so gave me the CD and I'm listening to it. Oh, it was so good. Ooh. They used to say that about Jay-Z. Yeah. But now they say it about the Word of God. Amen. There's a hunger for the Word. Then over in Hebrews 10.25, it says there's a hunger for the services. It said forsake you not the assembling of yourself. When somebody hit the rock, you ain't got to call them and say, it's church tonight, you know it's church tonight? Then tell you when y'all meet again. When is there another, is another service? Oh, I can't wait to win. Oh, it's one of money. I'll be there. It's a hunger for the services of God. Your friends think you to lost your mind. I mean, you go to church every day. I wish I could. <laughs> is, it, is it service? This is better than any club I've ever been to. Good, this is bro. better than any game I've ever been to. Good, I, your friends can't figure it out. They said, man, what is it that? What, I mean, can I go get some of that? Where, 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 where is that that you got there? Is that yeah. Muhammad's chicken? No, that's Holy Ghost chicken. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, then there's a hunger. So the hunger for being right. Righteousness. There's a hunger for the word. There's a hunger for services. There's a hunger for fellowship. Ma Malachi, don't go there. Malachi 3.16, it said that they that feared the Lord spake often. They'll be asking and getting the saints. No, brother, what y'all doing? Uh, 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 where, where you been? I was with brother so-and-so. We was having a prayer. Look at this. Not the old crew, because the Bible said evil communication corrupt the man. So, I, as a matter of fact, I have no appetite to do what y'all do. The reason why we were a crew is because we had the same appetite. We like the same stuff. We like to get and look as revealing as we could to go and seduce as many men as we could and listen to That's what we did. I, I don't see it like that, don't I? I don't want to involve myself. We, we, we're different. We don't like the same stuff. But this sister over here, she got a similar testimony to me. I went over her house to noon. Then we got met early for prayer. You incented. When somebody had the rock saints, you would see them wanting to be around the saints. Mm. They want to be around birds of a feather. Nice. Lock it together. Amen. 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 Lastly, over Matthew 5.30, when read be closed. Altar call, let me get ready. Matthew 5, 30. Hitting the rock. Tonight. Tonight. It's time to hit the rock. Amen. It's time. God brought you here tonight. Amen. Because he said, I have the solution for what you do. All right. You need to start all the way over. My God. You need to not, don't even think about it. What you're dealing with, just come and hit the rock tonight. Just let up, let, 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 let completely go. Just say, God, tonight. I'm coming to let go of everything and just to fall completely on you. That's why it takes faith to get saved. you got to believe that if you fall on the rock tonight, that God, that Jesus will take care of you. Tonight he said, I'm waiting and I'm here. But I can't begin to mold you into the person that I want you to be and the person that you want to see yourself as being until you hit the rock and become broken and spilled out and now you're pliable because you're contract now I can work with you now I can roll my sleeves up I've been waiting for this day I've been waiting for this moment to make something beautiful out of you I've been broken and cut my heart because I made you better than that 
You shouldn't have been dealing with all that you're dealing with, but you were reaping. But tonight you're coming home. Tonight you're coming and you're ready to rock. Tonight you're being broken and contrite. And you're repenting and you're asking me for a brand new start. Tonight, God is saying, let's hit the rock. Let's hit the rock. In Matthew 5, 30, you said, thy hand offend thee, cut it off. Maybe you even have been in walking with God, but there's been some things that you've been struggling with. He said, if you hit the rock, let's deal with them tonight. Let's deal with whatever we have to deal with tonight. Let's cut it off. You're showing earmarks. Lord, I'm willing to hit the rock. I'm struggling with these things, but tonight, I want to hit the rock. I'm willing to let it go and let God have his way with my life. I'm willing to hit the rock. May God bless you. Sir. My God, my God. Amen. Amen. Come on up. Let's get some more chairs coming. Sit right here. You sit right here this year. Is there another chair for me? Altar call, get ready. Altar call, get ready. Altar call, get ready. If there's anyone else, altar call, get ready. If there's anyone else tonight, there's room for you. Tonight, tonight, tonight. Just come and sit right here. Do one more. Just come and sit. If you want a certain victory, if you want to be saved. You want a certain power. Tonight, tonight, tonight. You want to let God do something with your life. You saying, Lord, you spoke to me tonight. You spoke to me tonight, God. Just come and sit. Just come and sit, and the altar worker will come, and you can deal with that time. Just come and sit. Is there one tonight? We're not talking about joining the church. We're just saying that, Lord, I want to get the rock tonight. I want to go all the way with you. If there's one more tonight, you just come, come and sit. God sent you here tonight. This word was for you. Maybe you walked with God at one time, but you kind of strayed away. Tonight, let's come back home. I've wandered far. It's okay, friend. You don't have to fear. It's a good thing. Real women and real men serve God. Just come and sit. An altar worker will come and work with you. You can kneel at that time. Is there one more? Let God lead you. Let him lead you. Come on, friend. Come on, friend. Path of sin. I'm sorry I left you, God. Tonight, 
let go. Just humble yourself. Just humble yourself. And say, Lord, I need the help you got for me. Just humble yourself, friend. I promise you won't be great. I promise you won't be great. Listen, I'm tired of sin and strength.
before we feel a certain inspiration here tonight. My God. If you want to give prayer, if you want to give prayer, you can just step down by the scene of this last verse. We just want to pray with you tonight. Go ahead and sing it. We want to pray with you. Go ahead. Everybody else ready to pray? The 